as a youth. Let Nigeria be your plan D. You should have plan A, plan B, and plan C. Hello guys, it's Dr. Lillian here. Hmm. My heart is full and I feel I have to just speak up. I have a lot to talk about in this video. So welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you've seen my beautiful face, you're highly welcome. Please do well to hit the subscribe button to join the family, turn on your post notification bell, like this video and leave a comment below so we can be able to interact with each other. Tell me your subscribe and it's your first time on my channel, okay? As for my returning subscribers, man, you guys are the real G. Like I was away for over a year due to how busy my schedule was with my housemanship placement in Nigeria. But thankfully that is all over now and I believe by the grace of God, <laughs> I'll be able to put out more content, okay? Happy new month, guys, and welcome to the month of September 2024, where the prices of oil in Nigeria has skyrocketed. It's now over a thousand naira per liter. I don't even know how to explain to my unborn kids that once upon a time in a country called Nigeria, the oil price was 65 naira per liter like how do i explain that right we just woke up in this brand new month of september and realized that phew, <laughs> the price of oil has increased too after the protest that was held over 10 days protest in um august for end hunger strike and all of that yet they increased the fuel price and we all know now it's just logic once the price of fuel goes up every other thing follows suit okay and before the protest the fuel price was like 690 um, naira per liter and even before the protest they agreed to increasing the minimum wage to 70,000 naira right so much how inflated everything has been in the country only for us to wake up and voila it's now 1,200, 1,300 per liter. Some places are even selling 1,500 per liter. I mean, we were dealing with the depreciation of the Naira as a currency. And right now, we're not talking about fuel prices. So, I just had to pack my car because I felt, you know, it makes no sense to be spending more than half of a salary on fuel just to go to work and come back. And at the end of the month, you just have barely half of your salary because you spent everything on fuel. So I packed my car. May I just drive once a week or twice a week to work? And that's it, okay? <laughs> and I feel like a lot of other Nigerians have also packed their car to join the public transport. That's why right now, with how expensive everything is, to get uh to get public transportation so difficult like you literally have to struggle about two to three days ago i almost got injured in fact i got bruised on my left knee because i was trying to force my way into a keke <laughs> that's what we call tricycle here but don't worry i'm fine now the bruise is healing very well thanks to god but how long are we going to continue like this okay how long because we've been protesting and protesting and protesting is as though our leaders are not listening. Please, if you're planning to uh, uh, jackpada back to Nigeria, <laughs> because you feel you're suffering abroad, please, I'm begging you. In fact, if you're watching this video, just know that it's the Spirit of God that is speaking to you. <laughs> Don't come back, okay? Don't come back yet. Just no matter what you think you're facing there, I bet you, Nigeria is worse than whatever thing you think you're facing over there, okay? So just manage yourself for the meantime. As long as you're able to send a family member back home, $50, $100 per month, my dear, you're doing very well where you are, okay? Maybe you can come back in two years' time or maybe next year, depending on how things are. But right now, it's not the right time. Well, that's just my own opinion. So because the price of oil has increased, 
transportation fare has also increased if initially you were able to drive from this location to another location for 100 naira right now it's like times two or even times three of the actual price okay and mind you <laughs> with all these increments in prices here and there food stuff and all of that your salary is not going up oh. nobody is adding shishi one kubo to your salary okay in a sane country in a civilized country in fact in other developing countries once they see that the prices of things are going high you don't even need to add one or two they're already increasing the minimum wage of the people okay so they can be able to adapt to the changes in prices of things okay but in this our country nobody cares As things are going high the same salary you remain on the same salary nobody is smiling like once they tell you this is the price of whatever they are selling or this is the price of transportation is it that you pay or you trek okay is it that you pay or you starve and this country honestly is like a comedy show how can the federal government give an ultimatum a 30 days ultimatum for private retailers to bring down the prices of their goods so are they going to be doing charity is it free when you didn't give them money to start the business they had to hustle to buy whatever they are buying to put out there and sell now you want them to reduce their price when they bought, actually bought those things expensive it doesn't work that way like do your part and every other thing will fall into place if you know that things the price of things are now very expensive increase people's salary create more jobs so that people can be able to afford all of this okay there's still going to be more protests in the future but the question is how effective are they going to be our demands going to be met and the most interesting part of all this is that we are not even demanding for much okay we are just demanding for the basic things the bare minimum thing that a leader in a country ought to provide for its citizen so i don't even know why this is an issue with our country nigeria it's as though we are regressing instead of progressing as a country i'll close by saying keep hoping for a better future in nigeria all right but i want you to have a solid plan a if at all let nigeria let being in nigeria remaining in nigeria be your plan d as a youth let nigeria be your plan d you should have plan a plan b and plan c because with the way our leaders are going they have no plans they have no future for the young ones god help us all so please leave your comments in the section below and how much is fuel in your area here is a thousand two hundred how much is fuel in your area i want to know in the comment section and just leave me your thoughts in the comment section as well don't forget to subscribe like this video and share thanks so much for watching and bye for now